hello guys welcome this is aman soni and today i'm going to show you how to add the secure crt to your gns file uh, so let's hop on to the virtual machine let's make it full screen and i have already shown you how to install the gns on your windows but by default gns uses a pretty boring software as the cli access terminal let's see let's close it let's just add one router here wait for it to turn it on and one another and as i told you using this connector link you can add the connections press escape and you can start them one by one start this and wait for a few seconds and then start the other one if you click here you can see the interfaces that you have used to connect these two routers wait for it to turn it on yeah we have used f00 on both sides to take the cli right click console and as you can see by default it is using putty which is quite boring it it will give you every time a new window so if you have 10 12 13 routers it will be pretty silly because every time you have to click here and you have to go to each windows see if you have a lot of windows you have a huge list of windows here so today I'm going to show you how to replace this putty with a amazing CLI terminal software which is secure CRT. So the secure CRT unlike your putty is not free. You have to install it, you have to crack it and you have to bind the secure CRT with GNS3. Fear not guys, I'm going to show you step by step everything. For now, just close this putty software. Yep. Now, let's stop the routers as well. Now, this is the software that you need. And I am adding the link for the secure CRT for 64 bit windows in the link description. First of all, you have to install it. I think you all know how to start that. Just click on setup, wait for it to decompress and then do the same old next, next, next and your secure CRT will be installed. Next, accept the terms. Next, 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 again again and wait for it to install after your secure crt is completely installed then you have to crack it and i will also tell you for those who don't know what is crack and how to crack a software i think all of you have already experience with installing big games and big software so you know what a crack is finish it okay now guys we have secure crt here see but do not run it i repeat do not run this file because this is the original secure CRT which is not free. So you have to copy the crack contents and you have to copy these and paste into the secure CRT in your windows program files. So go to C drive program files, uh, not this one, yeah, this program files and when the X software because this is the creator of secure CRT go and this is the secure CRT folder just copy these two crack files and paste them here and yes you have to replace the original files two files so it is going to ask you two times we are done now guys the crack is already been copied so only after the crack files are copied then you can use these keys included with the secure CRT. So put them here, just close it and now you have to run this secure CRT. And as soon as you turn it on, it will ask for you the secure CRT config default folder. Yes, we want the default thing. No need to change it. And you have to do enter license data. What license data? This license data guys. Make it full screen. Go to secure CRT, enter license data. Now you might think, okay, you just have to copy these and paste it here. Not at all. You have to click next and you have to click on enter license manually. And then you have to copy and paste each thing. Right click, copy it, go to secure CRT, paste this thing here, the company. See guys, we have two set of options. You can use any one you like. For this tutorial, I am using the first one. Go to secure CRT, the company. Done with the name and company. Now do next and copy the CTL number. Copy it 
and paste it carefully the license key as well done next and the last one issue date copy it minimize and paste it now leave this blank next and congratulations guys secure crt is cracked and easy to use but we are not going to use the secure crt who is going to use the secure crt gns will use it so just cancel it and cancel it cancel why because we are done the, we're done with the secure crt we have a secure crt but now we are going to tell gns3 that gns3 you are going to use secure crt so go to edit preference and console applications because by default it is using putty and click here go to secure crt and click on set and as soon as you click this set it will automatically change the commands for secure crt now click on apply and click on ok guys and start the routers one by one now you will see instead of putty it will open the terminal in secure crt wait for it to open up right click and start and here it is okay wait for it come on give me the secure crt it might take few minutes for the very first time okay let's do that again here it is r1 and r2 right click as you can see instead of getting multiple windows we just have one secure crt window like we have in our mozilla firefox and google chrome click on here and you can choose between the tabs if you click here it will give you the r1 tab if you click here it will give you the r2 tab but don't you think the font is very very small yes it is so now i'm going to i'm going to tell you how to change the secure crt settings to make it more amazing so this is the secure CRT, it is set up, it is already showing the terminal, but we want it to look much more beautiful. So go to options, global option guys. And now go to advance. Okay, not this one, this advance. Go to, let me show you again, option, global options and advance. Now we want to change the transparency. We are going to make the secure CRT transparent so you can choose any value between 150 to 200 whatever you like so if you click here you do okay and yes you can see the topology behind you because now your secure crt is transparent again go to option global option we have done this part now click here because you can also change the font click on edit now we want a black background so very easy click here click to add to custom colors okay and we will do this but if we do this guys our foreground and background both will be black but we want our foreground this thing not to be black but to be let's say let's make it look like matrix so click on here okay now our background will be black and foreground will be green click on okay again click on okay now we have done it and see it looks much more beautiful and amazing the last part i'm going to show you the font which is little bit tricky option global option guys now just go to default sessions and then go to add default settings because we are going to change the default font every time you run secure crt you don't need to change it why because we are changing the default settings click here now in here you have to go to appearance and change the font 14 bold is quite good click on ok again click on ok and now it is asking do you want to change the default or do you want to do make your changes permanent we want to do this we want permanent changes click here ok and now the font has been changed but you have to close it to see the effects click console and minimize it right click console and as you can see our amazing new secure crt is up and running with beautiful font completely transparent and with amazing 
colors. Thank you and it was again a pleasure for me to make this amazing tutorial for you.